channel trimmer products video training. Today we're going to talk about EWN pumps. EWN pumps a little bit next uh, model up, probably middle of the road for the uh, wall cut model. It does have some very nice features to it. Uh, the EWN R, like you see here, uh, is an internal external. It does have some input signals for uh, pulses for even uh, 4 to 20. Uh, it doesn't provide much out of it. Uh, but it does have all the internal capabilities, speed control, uh, stroke control. Uh, does come with standard foot valve injectors, ceramic weight, and tubing uh, for your to complete isolation. Uh, it does have optional features like multifunction valve that has some back pressure to it. Uh, the degassing valve for bromines, uh, sodium hypochlorite, uh, hydrogen peroxide. And then we can also get you some cable assemblies to help complete your uh, input signals. Uh, and last one on these pump mount shelves. So you don't have to mount it onto the tank, although this one has a very nice piece there. You can mount it up on the wall, it typically turn sideways. Okay, so now that we've kind of went over some of the accessories and stuff that you can get with it, uh, you'll notice that this pump here, unlike some of the other ones, does have a down screen cover. There is no lock on it, but it does kind of have some bolts that screw it down on. Uh, digital display, zero to 360 or zero to 100%. Uh, it has stroke control also, zero to, or I'm saying 20 to 100%. Below the 20, uh, it's not as repeatable. It's kind of like they mark all of them in red uh, on the stroke dials. So all the manufacturers do it that way. Uh, and then you have your universal power cord. This one here is 115 volt. This is a universal power supply in here, so we can actually pull this off of here, put it on the 230 volt, the way it goes. Uh, you have your input here for your cable assemblies, and this one here is also an input. It's a start-stop uh, kind of feature, and we'll go over that when we go to the inputs and how we set things up. So, that's the front face. On the back side of it, we'll see the pump head. The diaphragm is, this is a manual valve, uh, manual bleeder valve or priming valve that does come with all of them, suction side of them. Uh, the one thing I want you to remember with all of them is make sure that if you ever do take it apart, that you put your checks in properly. There is an upside down and an upside right place to put in those uh, check valves. A lot of people will take it apart just to see what's going on uh, or priming it when we talk about priming. Uh, and if you put them back in upside down, it's not gonna work. Okay, so let's talk about uh, a typical pump, um, and then we can also do ke uh, like chemical feed tanks and, or uh, um, poly cubes to help complete your installation. Uh, and we have our own line of DW tanks. So, uh, without uh, going too far into it, we're going to do some uh, different videos to help us pinpoint how to install them, how to troubleshoot them, uh, and how to wire them, and how to program them. Okay. Thank <laughs> you.